Fowler is changing and growing at a rapid pace. That means that our city government should reflect these changes for the benefit of our future. Here are my proposals. Term limits. Currently there are no term limits for city council members. This is not good for progress. Take Congress, for example. They are not subjected to term limits. The same people get elected over and over because people are more comfortable with what they are familiar with. This leads to progress being stalled. No person should make a lifetime career out of one singular elected position. Limiting city council members and mayor to three terms of four years will be very beneficial to the city in the long run. The position of mayor. Currently the position of mayor is picked by members of the council. I find this method to be outdated and unfair to the citizens of Fowler. I propose that the seat of mayor be made a separate, directly elected position. The council itself. With a quickly growing city, we must grow our city council. I propose that the city council be extended by no more than two seats. Given the history of our governmental leaders, complete inability or want to impose limits upon themselves, it would be idiotic of me to ask them to do so. I will go directly to you, the people, with a petition for two ballot measures on these matters. While on the topic of city growth, I have a bold proposal. Fowler has seen a boom in housing developments. These new homes bring in more families. A new elementary school is under development, however, I want to go further. Forgive my frankness, but I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. A beautiful high school was torn down in favor of an ugly modern building that wastes space. My feelings are the same about the middle school. The land was wasted on these properties, with large empty spaces and buildings widely separated. I mean Sutter already needs trailers for more space. I propose a complete reconstruction of both schools, two indoor buildings that will utilize more space and can be built up for more room. In the school's current form, they may not be enough room for all new students in 10, 15 years. The first question I'm sure you want to ask is, well, how are we going to pay for this? Well, my questions to you are, how are we going to pay for the new schools that will eventually have to be built? How are we going to pay to upgrade the old schools to meet the standards of the new schools so students and parents don't feel like they have less than? You know that's going to be an issue. Finally, rebuilding the schools we currently have in the way I propose will extend the need for new schools up another 40 to 50 years.